Yo, what is going on, sexy sound squad? Today we're here doing a rank 21 playing Charbidus. Because or Char Char Charbidus. <laughs> I don't really know how to say her name, if I'm completely honest, but I'm basically playing Hunter Scylla in the hopes that she's OP. And I'm gonna level up the same stuff that I have been doing. Um, and I'm not exactly sure if it's right because like I said, I haven't been playing much of Carbidus or just in general any casual games at all. So I, I really just don't know what to do with her, but I'm gonna max my one because I think that's what I should do and it does clear. But then again, your two clears really well also. Is this only does 60% damage to the minions in the first few hits. I don't know what happened in this patch. There was a patch today, which is why this video is going to be up late. Already late. It's going to be munching for a second here. I do have mannequins. I'm definitely not scared. Oh, you're dead to mannequins. Not dead the mannequins yet. Might be soon though. Hold on. Hold on. You never know. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay. He's just running away. But at least I should get mannequins. Or should get red buff because of mannequins. All right, we run away here. We run away. Okay. He hit all of his autos. He has way more HP than me. He started with Bracer of Radiance, which I guess he used when he was either low HP or when he was full HP. He gained some sort of advantage in that fight. But I actually don't know. Oh, wait. Mannequins isn't as good on this character because it's only half as strong. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot that her, her passive is really horrible when it comes to those kinds of things with on-hit effects. Okay. So that would probably... That would explain why I lost the first fight. That being said, though, he doesn't even have mannequins, so really I should have won it regardless. What does my passive do? This little bar. Attack speed. Um, I'm kind of not in the best spot right now, if I'm completely honest. He's doing like a lot of damage and I'm not doing kind of any. That being said, I did clear the, uh, the XP minions over there. He might do bull. Oh, never mind. It's not even up. We're vibing. All right. And grab a couple of HP pots. Use my butthole ability to get back to tower. What am I waiting for here to win this fight? It's of all. He already has it. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm just not waiting for anything. Maybe I can't win the fight and I just have to I just have to vibe my way out of here for a second Let me see I'm really close to getting that itch of all I do have my thorns back or not thorns. I'm sorry my shell back up I just don't really, like, do enough damage to him to make it matter much, I feel like. Um, I can't catch him. Yeah, he's very, very fast. Because of his passive, I would assume. Not his passive, his, um... Oh, I'm so dead. He's gonna ult the shit out of me here, isn't he? Oh, 
Well, I didn't die, so it was less bad than I thought it would be. And I did actually get the red buff. I'm not going to be able to survive. I think, um, like, my tower won't be able to survive, but maybe... I definitely cannot pick up the red buff. Probably. Yeah, it's already gone. Hiding, are we? He's not doing bull demon. All right, well, I think all things considered, that could have been worse. I didn't get the red buff. Well, I mean, I I dropped it, but I didn't actually get get to pick it up because he chased me away. So blue buff is gonna have to do. I'm not really that excited about having blue buff. And uh, looks like he's not either because I don't even think he picked it up or he dropped it. I mean. I'm so bad. It's actually comical. Oh, let's go, man. The knockup. The knockup really came in clutch there. Holy crap. I think. I'm not sure about this, but I think you only get the knockup when you. Uh, when you get that extra bonus damage. When you activate it again, kind of like Pele's three, I guess is the best way I can describe it. You know how you can activate that a second time for extra damage, even though it takes away uh, some some extra. I don't really know what it is. Charge, I guess, is what you would call Pele's passive. But it's kind of that same thing. I do think his one hit me while I was in my three, though, which I'm pretty sure is impossible. I'm pretty sure untargetable. Unless it got changed, which would make me look stupid, but honestly, what's new? Alright, hear this. He is getting these. I do think I can win a fight, though. Nice, it actually killed. I was under the impression that was not going to do anything. And I am super hyped that it killed because I think that I've hit that ult a total of two times. And I've played this character three times. So, <laughs> you know, just so you're all aware of how bad I am with that ult. Actually worked. It actually worked. And I got the kill too. Hell yeah. Right, let me see if this does. I am untargetable and immune to damage while submerged. It says it right here. So I kind of figured. I kind of figured that it would be like that, but. I don't know if maybe it got canceled or something. I think he backed. I don't see him anywhere. Unless he's just very good at avoiding me by these pillars. Oh, he backed. All right, all things considered, really rough start, but we kind of brought it back. We're uh, we're we're only we're eight minutes into the game, four hundred gold ahead, which I mean, honestly, at this point in the game, pretty much useless. Only four hundred gold. That being said, I am two levels ahead, which is not useless and actually a huge help for me. He is right there. Don't know if he actually is staying over there or if he's gonna gank me. He was staying over there. I want to get his blue buff. I don't actually know. If I can, because he might be able to. He might be able to win the fight. He does have breastplate. Okay, turd boy. Hiding, are we? That is completely my buff. Awesome. He might ult actually, which would not be awesome. He might actually be able to kill me. I, I said awesome, but now I have to look for his ult. He is ulting. I'm going to go ahead and go underground and butthole, butthole power him.
Okay, insanely strong damage. I was going to say insane outplay, but it wasn't really an outplay because I didn't really outplay him. All I did was put him into a butthole and he touched me like most men would. So I think realistically, realistically, uh, it was just kind of his bad play rather than my good one. But we take those. We definitely take those. I back now. I go XE. I think Xe got buffed this patch. Let me check. No, it didn't. I lied to you. It stayed exactly the same. He's going Oboe. But I don't think... I don't think Oboe is really going to do, like... Anything. I have a really fast attack speed with that 1-up. Do you get extra attack speed? No. Her attack speed just seems so fast because of the fact that you have this attack chain. But it, in reality, it's really not as fast as you think it is. I guess he was behind me and he cleared the wave because I don't know where he is. Probably doing red buff right now. He is doing red buff right now. I don't care. I'm going to just get tower. You can run around, do what you want. Uh, the tower push is so bad on this character. I've hit the tower a hundred times for 1300 damage. 114 times for 115 damage. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, he got the red buff, obviously. I'm going to back now. Doesn't really for me over there. Um, I do want to go Kins. I do want to go... XE, I want to go all those normal items. You get extra movement speed when you turn into the extra butthole. No, it's the same amount of movement speed. Alright. Yeah, so he's just running around farming right now. Can't really blame him. That's what you should do in this uh, scenario. Especially when you see how slow I am at taking towers. Definitely don't need to worry about me like in a tower down or anything ridiculous. Oh. Oh my god, it actually worked. Whoa. You can run through tower with your butthole up. And not take any damage. Yo, buttholes are OP. Actual, factual, not capsule. Buttholes are OP. Can I get Phoenix here? Oh, dude, it's not even close. I can't get this. Well. Might die. Oh, no, he's not chasing me. Okay. Lucky me, I guess. Grab this. Oh, you know why he's not chasing me? Because red buff is probably back up. That's more than likely what happened. He sacrificed the kill on me in order to get the red buff. I would have just gone for the kill. Is it, I mean, if you kill me, you have time to get the red buff anyways. So, you know, whatever. Okay, I lied to you. Red buff's not even up. I don't know what he was doing then. His bull demon's not up. Red buff's not up. My blue buff's not up. Maybe the XP camp was up, but like... Why would you not go for a kill to get an XP camp? Seems a little bit weird. He's ulting. Oh man, you are not in any position to win this fight. Oh my gosh. That feels pretty bad for him, I would assume. Alright, I should be able to get this, I think. Nice. Perfect. I said this during my first look, I think. I could be wrong, but I, I think I said that landing the triple auto attack that she has is the most satisfying thing in smite 
And if I didn't say that out loud, then I'm saying it now, and it definitely is the most satisfying thing in Smite. When someone's running and you hit all three of the little spears, it th there's nothing that comes close to satisfaction level in this game. I, like, maybe... Maybe hitting a blind raw alt might come slightly close. Okay, hold on. Why did I just hear the fire giant noise? <laughs> when when Bull Demon was taken, I just heard the fire giant noise, which by the way, definitely not supposed to play. <laughs> so that's weird. But um if you hit like a double a double hit and it's a double kill on a blind raw alt. That might be more satisfying because you like jump out of your chair and shit like that happens. But in terms of like not astronomical feats, definitely the easiest, definitely the best. I have high praise for this character. I don't think she's all that great, which might be incorrect. And I stand by that if it is. I wish that hit, but I'm also bad. So it makes sense. Ooh. Ooh, the Aussie. The Aussie carried. How much damage do my autos do versus his? I did a lot more than him. My Kins is kind of useless, actually. Um Mannequins is doing okay. I really feel like maybe I messed up with my build here, because I don't think like on hit effects, obviously they're a third. They're a third as good. Like item on hit effects are reduced by 35%. So I guess they're two thirds as good. They're not really a third. I thought this said when I read it the first time that it was reduced to 35%, not by 35%. But still, I mean, that's pretty bad. A 35% damage nerf. On your kins and your, uh, like Aussies and shit like that, like, feels bad. Yeah, I definitely do not win these fights, huh? I guess I'll just go for red buff here. Okay. Should be able to back here, maybe. That Aussie is rough. That Aussie is doing so much for him right now. buff is mine the question here i think i go mannequin mace instead of aussie and i'm not exactly sure if that's the right play because what i'm thinking is i sell my kins because it's not really doing much i sell my kins or uh a toxic blade that's what i'm feeling did just get bull demon again my phone keeps going off should be able to get this oh he's ulting oh he died all right i think that was due to mannequin mace right yeah mannequin mace shreds oh my god that extra tick damage from Mannequin Mace demolished him there. He wasn't expecting it. I guess he still expected the... The... Normal Mannequins because I hadn't finished my my uh, my fifth item yet. So there was no reason for me to upgrade my main item yet. 
my main starter item. It ends up actually paying dividends, winning me the game. We did a lot more damage than him, which is surprising. This build was pretty bad, I think. I mean, uh, honestly, like, Breastplate's not bad because he gets more alts, which is better for him. I just don't like the Bracer. The Bracer Radiance seems like it probably threw him the game. And then also the Oboe, because Oboe got nerfed from 40% attack speed to 30% attack speed. And so it's a much worse item to pick up if you just want to try to go for the win. Um, if you're like in conquest and you want to try to get some AOE numbies popping out and stuff like that, then for sure, like it's not bad, but I don't know. I mean, you could probably hear Appa squeaking in the background while I'm talking. <laughs> but yeah, I also didn't like my build though. So we both kind of build, we built a little bit bad, uh, both of us completely. But I think if you want to build Charbitus this way, she's just better off going crit and power. Like, these on-hit effects, I don't think are very good. Like, this is probably a Dominance or a Titan's Bane or something like that. And this is... Well, actually, Kins is fine because it's, it's a stacking one. And Age of All is fine, too. It's really just the Kins that I don't like in my build. And I was going to go Aussie, which I wouldn't have liked either. So, you can keep this. This first four items is fine. These last two should be... Either maybe go double defense or if they're really tanky, go Kins. But... No, in a matchup like this, I would much more... I'd rather go, like... I don't know. Jotuns or something ridiculous. Like, it seems dumb, but... Your cooldowns are really good, and at least it gives you power and some base pen. So, you're not losing out on the power. The attack speed, you don't need that much. So, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of different things you can do with her. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. She is in ranked. You might need to ban her. I don't think she's super OP. Like, I don't think she's... S tier, the best god in the game, but she's definitely a hunter, and hunters are very strong. So, um, and she's a new hunter, so you, a lot of people don't know how to play against her yet, me included. So, banning her might be the safe situation for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace.